Lance, uh, welcome back. Um, your three Bellator fights, two of them have been in Connecticut, one's been in Phoenix, and now you're in Hawaii. Is this uh, definitely the, the best vibe you've had during a fight week so far? Absolutely. You know, I've uh, never been to Hawaii. Uh, one awesome story is my dad fought here when he was 27 years old uh, for his pro debut. And uh, one on a, in, he fought in actually Super Brawl, which at the time was 30 minutes straight. The only way he got his uh, flight paid for was if he fought at super heavyweight. So he fought a guy that was like triple his size and, and uh, ended up choking him out. And he's, he's a legend on, on the island. And uh, it's pretty cool. I'm 27 years old and he was 27 at the time. It's just, it's nuts how everything kind of goes full circle. And I know for you, you know, a lot's been made out of you kind of carrying on your dad's legacy. And for, when, when you hear stuff like that and you're starting to like, really follow in his footsteps, weird, you know, coincidences and whatnot. Does that kind of motivate you as you, as you go through your career to, to kind of uh, continue, continue the legacy? Absolutely. You know, I, I think it's all just been already written, you know. It's, de it's destiny at the end of the day, you know. Uh, I've been born into this sport. I've done it for my entire life. It's kind of a part of me. It's like my left leg and my left arm, you know. <laughs> it's like this sport is just me. So at the end of the day, me being able to follow in my dad's footsteps is like, it's so natural. It doesn't. It it, it comes so natural. And uh, to, you know, in order for you guys to make it two and zero between the two of you in Hawaii, you get to go out there and uh, fight Nanoa Dung this weekend. What are your thoughts on the matchup fighting a Hawaiian in in his homeland? I think it's awesome. You know, uh, I'm ready to fight anybody from anywhere, anywhere. So at the end of the day, I'm a skilled martial artist. You've seen what I do in the cage. Uh, everybody's seen what I do in the cage, and it doesn't matter who it is. I'm I come in to impose my will and. Uh, finish my opponents. Hey Lance, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, so I just want to know, how are you going to celebrate such a good win in the state of Hawaii? Hmm. Well, Lima Le invited us to her luau, and uh, I'm not a big partier, but uh, I'll, I'll see if I can muster up some energy and, and, and get out there and... Uh, and uh, celebrate with her but uh that was one thing i i haven't seen the island uh i was told that the north side was, is really beautiful so i want to go check it out and uh i'm not a oh my dad just reminded me i loved fish obviously i'm an avid fisherman so it'd be awesome if we can go out for a charter after his last his fight when he was here they went out for a charter got a nice marlin and a bunch of mahi so hopefully i can get out there and uh we can catch some fish not to look past your next opponent, but do you have a, anybody in mind for a call out after this one? Uh, I don't. I tend to not call people out. Uh, I just fight who they put in front of me, and uh, I I do my job and I do it to the best of my ability, and that seems to be the 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 trick, you know. So I, I'll be out there and I'll I'll be ready to fight anybody. If uh, Lance Gibson had a movie, what would the title be? Hmm. Fearless. And if you had an actor who would play yourself in said movie, who would it be? You know, it's really funny. Denzel Washington. So everybody says didn't I look like Denzel Washington's son. Uh, uh, what is his name? John Washington. I can't remember his name. But uh, yeah, every time, that's, that's probably who would end up playing me. <laughs> uh, I know you shared your dad's story about fighting here on, Hi on Hawaii. What does it mean to you to represent the Gibson name in Hawaii and get a chance to get a second W for the fam? Oh, it means a lot. You know, I, I, don't, I definitely don't take the pressure uh, involving it. I, I kind of take it as like it's, it's destiny just playing itself out. But it's, uh, it's, it's an honor to be here. Thank you to Bellator to be able to actually go out and do what I want to do when my dad had fought here when he was 27 years old. That, it just They're allowing me to play out my destiny. So it's, it's an honor to fight for Bellator and, and be able to do that here in Hawaii. And a uh, shout out to your dad. I actually had an amateur fight at Tiger Bombs before, and your, I had Oi. my only amateur loss. Your dad cornered the fighter, you know? So. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, yeah. And Chet Congo was also in the corner, too. It was no like, way. Rampages around, so it was a good week, though. Yeah, that's awesome, man. <laughs> so, do you got a prediction for your fight, then? Hmm. A devastating finish. As you've seen in my last fight and my, my first fight in Bellator, I, when, I, when I go to finish the fight, I, I do it viciously. So it'll be a vicious finish. Woods. This is according to Woods for Bobby Sam Batman. How are Lance Howard here? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Now, I mean, you speak a lot about your destiny and, and following your father's footsteps, but I mean, you're, you're by name, you're a double four, but you remain undefeated. Do you feel like uh, a little bit of a target is on your back and who your legacy is, who your stepmom is, who your dad is? 
you could look at it that way for sure. As a martial artist, my job is to take it step by step, be focused, be centered, uh, be respectful in every single way, and show my showcase my skills to the world. So I don't care if there's a target on my back; there could be a target in front of me. It, it doesn't matter. I'm 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 the I'm the assassin at the end of the day. Thank you. Dylan? Hey, Larry. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, what can you say about Julia the Jewel's butt and how she has helped you throughout your MMA career? Uh, well, one, Julia is an awesome person to be able to look up to. She's an, a fantastic fighter. She was a four-time world champion for Bellator. She's uh, remarkable. And being able to be in her corner – I was in her corner when I was uh, at ASU, actually. So I would, <laughs> on weekends, I would be at her fights, helping corner with my dad. And uh, yeah, it's I've been able to learn a lot through the sport through her. And uh, yeah, it, it means a lot to to my career as well. When you say ASU, what ASU are you referring to? Arizona State University. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sitting in an Arizona State building right now with Julia and Sandra. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Kamikaze. He's he's he, Kazi's a goofball. So he just now got into MMA. So my dog, if you don't know who who my dog is, he's a big Akita. But whenever we play fights, he gets so stressed out he leaves the room. But just recently, he's been like high-fiving in, in the lineup after we uh, finished training. He's been, like, actually starting to enjoy MMA. So <laughs> so now he's, uh, I think he's on, on our side, and he's, he's uh, proud and wanting us to win this fight and get back to, so we can uh, hug him. <laughs> Last question from Tyler. Hey, Lance, good afternoon. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Uh, so uh, on Saturday, you're going to be putting your record up on the line against a very, very tough opponent mm -hmm. who is Uh, one, the key to victory is just doing what I do. At the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a monster in there. So I'm going in there to take anybody out and everybody out. So at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's not about the odds at the end of the day. It's about the fight. So uh, you'll see on Saturday night, uh, he's a great fighter, skilled martial artist. He's done it for a long time. I don't look past anybody. I study everybody. I study every single thing about everybody. Uh, like I said, I'm a monster, and you'll see that on Saturday night.